Welcome to Alavix. This is an operations video that explains in detail how Alavix measures time when it runs test cases. To understand how Alavix measures time, it's important to know some basic concepts. Alavix makes a series of screen captures multiple times a second in a process called frame grabbing. The system hardware determines exactly when a frame is grabbed. At regular intervals, Alavix takes one of those frames and tries to detect the objects within it. The set of objects to look for is defined in the test case object that is currently running in the script. A transaction is the object detection phase plus the interaction phase and corresponds to the execution of the component tree including its actions. Transaction performance is the amount of time it takes to complete the object detection phase. It's the number that's displayed as a result in Alavix's output. Because frame grabs aren't continuous, there's a span of time between them when you can't be sure exactly when an object appeared. The accuracy reported by Alavix is the greater of the differences before and after the frames when the object is first detected. We'll use a simple example of loading a YouTube video to illustrate these concepts. Suppose we're loading a YouTube page that we know is ready when the play icon appears. The frame grabber will make a copy of the screen at intervals. At a separate interval, the object detector will look at the first in a set of frames to see if all the objects in the component tree are present. When the component tree matches, Alavix will begin looking backwards through recent frames to find the first frame that matched. The time between the last user interaction and the match is called the transaction performance. The time range from the frame before the match to the frame after it represents the accuracy that Alavix reports in the output. Suppose we've built a test case with two test case objects. The first loads the main YouTube page by inserting the URL into the address bar and pressing Enter. The second will wait for the video to load, attempting to detect the YouTube logo and the play icon in the middle of the screen. Once found, it will start the video, but more importantly, it will report the time it took for the video to load by finding the first frame that contained those elements. When we run the test case, the launch node finds the browser's address bar, inserts the URL, and presses Enter to start loading the video. We can check the load time ourselves with a stopwatch to see that the time we perceive matches the time that Alavix reports. We can enjoy watching the rolling stones jamming with muddy waters while Alavix does the work. When measuring transaction performance, Alavix starts counting at the moment the previous interaction sequence ends and the new object detection phase begins. It stops counting as soon as it's able to match the current set of objects it's looking for. At the end of each run, Alavix reports all of the measured transactions for which the measure flag was set in the test case object. As you can see, the time we measured with the stopwatch closely matches the time reported by Alavix. The amount of available hardware resources greatly affects how accurate Alavix can be. Because frame grabbing in the underlying hardware is performed by Windows, you can add resources like RAM and CPU to increase the number of frames grabbed per second, which will decrease the amount of time between each frame and thus improve accuracy. Thanks for watching this Alavix video tutorial. Be sure to check out the Alavix website, blog, and user guide at these links.